The item pricing window allows you to enter or edit an item's cost and price information, including markdown price levels, an MSRP price, and margin or markup values on a single window. You can open this window while adding, editing, or viewing an item. Click into the item list, choose an item, edit that item, scroll down to where you see the regular price, Click the pricing button. The pricing window is opened. If using multiple units of measure feature, select the unit for which you want to view and edit this information. The regular price of the item is your everyday retail price. If you wish to use a department pricing formula to calculate your price, leave this field blank when adding a new item. The MSRP is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. If entered here, it is printed on the price tags to demonstrate savings to your customers. Keep in mind that some tag templates may not display the MSRP due to size limitations. The cost is the average unit cost for the item quantity currently on hand. Enter this cost only if you have an on-hand quantity of the item when initially setting up point of sale. Otherwise, as you make receiving vouchers, point of sale automatically updates this field. The margin percentage is the gross margin or profit margin percentage, auto-filled from the department record on new items and updated automatically as average unit cost changes. Manually editing the margin results in a recalculation of your price. The markup percentage is an alternate way to express profit. When either are edited, the other is recalculated automatically. We'll go over to the price levels Optionally, you can enter prices and markdown percentages for your markdown price levels for the item. These are names that you have custom created in your preference list. If you use point of sales pricing formula to calculate your regular prices and have defined price level markdown percentages, point of sale automatically calculates the price at each level for your items. Enter edit a price or markdown percentage for each price level if this item's pricing is to be different from your default markdowns. Again, as we mentioned, you can define or change your default price level names and markdown percentages in company preferences. Keep in mind that changing your default markdown levels here do not update existing item prices. You can use Price Manager to quickly change existing item prices if desired. You can also set different prices at each level for each unit of measurement of an item. And the one last thing I will mention with price levels is I had a store owner who owned a store in Hawaii along with his other stores in Michigan. And of course, the prices he needed to charge in Hawaii was a lot higher than Michigan. So the way that he did that is he actually put a negative percentage in the markdown to increase Hawaii's prices. That concludes our demonstration to explain how to enter item price and cost into your inventory items. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I make another video about point of sale. Thank you, everybody.